finally, we're at the point of actually making the backup image of our Pi. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show you how to make a copy of the Pi's current state. Uh, which you can then flash to another micro SD card for other projects or use in the event that you need to restore your Pi to its current configuration. Uh, since I'm partial to using Windows, I use a program called Win32 Disk Imager to do this. If you don't have it, pause the video and download it now. Uh, next, you'll want to power off the Pi. Don't just turn it off. Uh, use the actual power off command. So we're going to do sudo power off. And of course it wants the password. Okay, so the Pi has shut down. Okay, so at this point I have powered the Pi off, I have removed the micro SD card, and I have put, uh, inserted it into my computer, my Windows computer. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create an image file. Uh, the quickest and easiest way to do this is by right clicking on your desktop or in a folder where you want to store the file and choosing new text document. Uh, for the file name, I recommend something like baseline underscore 8 GB for gigabyte underscore and then the current date. And then at the very end, take out the .txt and replace it with .img and then press enter and then you're going to get prompted to allow the file extension type to be changed, go ahead and select yes. And if you're wondering, I'm including 8 gigabyte, that bit of information in the file name, because that is the size of the micro SD card that I am copying data from. Uh, the reason I am including the size of the micro SD, micro SD card here is whenever you go to write this image to another micro SD card, you'll need to make sure that you write it to a micro SD card that is eight gigabytes or larger. Uh, when Win32 Disk Imager reads the micro SD card into your image file, it includes all of the unused space as well. Uh, this will cause your image file to be rather large. Uh, but we can use a compression program such as 7-Zip to compress it down to a much smaller, more manageable size. Just know that when we write it to another micro SD card, it will still need to be a card that is 8 gigabytes or larger, or whatever size of card you are using and larger. And of course I'm including the date. Uh, just as a reference to when I, when I made a backup of the Pi's current state. Uh, so next we're going to go ahead and open up Win32 Disk Imager. And you don't see this on your end, but on my end I'm getting a prompt that says, and this is from the User Account Control or UAC, uh, that says, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And I'm going to go ahead and allow that by saying yes. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify in Win32 Disk Imager that image file uh, that we just created, which in my case is on my desktop. And then for the device, I'm going to make sure that the G drive is selected because that's the drive that uh, the micro SD card is in. Uh, one thing that I am uh, remembering that I didn't note at the beginning of this video is that when it, sometimes whenever you insert uh, the Pi's micro SD card into your computer, uh, you will get a prompt to format the micro SD card. Uh, do not do that. I mean, that should be pretty obvious, but do not do that. Otherwise, you will erase the setup of your Pi and you will have to start over. 
So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this read button and that's and yes I want to overwrite the image file. So what Win32 Disk Imager is doing now is going out to the G drive where the Pi's micro SD card is and reading the contents of the card and placing them into this image file that's on the desktop. Uh, this will take some time, so I'll go ahead and stop the video and let this complete. So at this time, Win32 Disk Imager has successfully read the contents of the micro SD card and put the contents into our image file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here and I'm going to exit out of Win32 Disk Imager. And let's take a look at the file size of our image file. And as you can see here, this file is 7.4, almost 7.5 gigabytes. Now that's not a whole lot of space, but in some cases it is. And the more backups of this we make, the more space it's going to take on our server. So we definitely want to try to reduce that size down. Um, I use 7-zip to do this, and I just use the option to add to file name .zip. So I'll go ahead and let that complete. 7-zip has finished compressing the image file. Uh, so let's take a look at the zip file that was created. So definitely much smaller at 592 megabytes versus uh, the 7.4 gigabytes of the image file. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and delete the image file. And in the future, when we want to are ready to flash another micro SD card, uh, again, just make sure you use a card that is the same size or larger. And I highly recommend that you use a program called Etcher to flash the image to the micro SD card. Um, I just have better luck with Etcher. Um, you can use Win32 Disk Imager, but I've just had better luck with Etcher.